In this video, I will show you what is Tmux and how to use it. I am also going to show you some real life use cases of Tmux. So Tmux is a terminal multiplexer. It lets you to switch easily between several programs inside a single terminal. You can detach and reattach these sessions and these detach sessions keeps running in the background. Uh, for those who doesn't know what a terminal multiplexer is, it is a program using which a user can have multiple sessions inside one single terminal. Here are some benefits of the Tmux. If you have a poor connection, uh, you can resume your sessions from its previous state. You can divide Tmux sessions in multiple Chrome-like windows and panes. You can share your session with your other team members, like you can ask them to connect to your session. Okay, now let's move to terminal. Let's quickly see how to install Tmux, but in production, it's very likely to get it pre-installed on servers. So the command is dnf-y install Tmux. So as it is pre-installed on my machine, it's saying nothing to do. Now to start the Tmux, type Tmux on terminal. And now you are inside the Tmux. You can see this taskbar is the easiest way to identify that you are inside the Tmux. It gives you various important information. We will come back to this later in the video. To exit, just type exit. If you are exiting the session, remember you cannot reattach it as you are closing the session. To give Tmux session a name, type Tmux new hyphen s. You have to give the session name. So I am giving the session name as my session and press enter and you are inside the session now you can see it's saying my session in the bottom taskbar so this is your session name here now let's say you are having one process running for example let's download a page now you can see it start the downloading of the page and the process is running. Now let's say your connection dropped and your terminal got disconnected. Now what we can do is connect to a new terminal and we can attach our previous session. Okay, now let's connect to the server. You can list your running sessions with command tmux ls. So this was the session we created earlier. Now attach your session with the command So my session is the session name and minus T is for target session. Okay, now you can see our process is still running. Now, if you want to detach a session for some time and want to attach it later, press prefix key plus D. Now, what is the prefix key here? In most of the Linux based system, prefix key is control B. So press control B and D to detach this session. Okay, now let's reattach the session. Tmux ls. This is our session name, and again, command Tmux a hyphen t my session. Ah, okay, the spelling mistake is there. Okay. So now you can see the process is still running. Now let's say your screen is busy with some process and what you will do here, you will open another putty terminal. But wait, what you can do here is you can create a parallel pane. You have to just press control B and percent symbol. That's it. Your screen is divided into the multiple panes here and you can do uh, work on both of the panes simultaneously. Like uh, let's uh, execute some commands here host name let's print some sequence and now if you want to switch back to the previous pane you can navigate through your arrow keys you have to just press ctrl b and left arrow key to go to the previous pane now what you can do let, let's close this process and you can type on this pane now you want to switch back to the second pane ctrl b and the right arrow key here you are on the second pane so let's say echo this is 
second pin now let's say you want to zoom in this pin press ctrl b and then z now this pin is zoomed in and you can see here is the z mark in the bottom taskbar so it's showing like you have zoomed into this pin now to go back to the previous state press ctrl b again and press z now you are zoomed out from the pin now if you want to see the pin's number here what you can do press ctrl b and q so this is for a while it will print 0 and 1 on the screen let's say now you want to create another pane here what you can do press ctrl b and you can press a double quote symbol here to create a pane horizontally so now this is the third pane Now if you want to switch between these panes using your mouse and you want to resize these panes, uh, what you can do, you can press Ctrl B colon and type set hyphen G mouse on and hit enter. Now your mouse is enabled and you can switch back to any, any of the pane you can type here, you can type here and you can type here as well. So you can switch back to any any of the panes. You, if you want to resize the pane, what you can do, you just simply hold this line, and you can resize the pane uh, using your mouse. You can resize any of the pane. Now, if you want to scroll inside the Tmux session, what you can do, select a pane, Control B, and you just have to press a square bracket. Now the scroll mode is on, and you can use up and down arrow keys to scroll up and down in the in this session and if you want to scroll pages you can use your page up and page down keys to scroll back and further quickly now let's see how to create windows inside tmux you can think of them as multiple chrome tabs and you can also use your mouse to switch between those tabs and panes now let's see how to create a window press ctrl b and c now you have created another window so using your mouse you can switch back to the previous window and here you can see here is a star symbol at the current pane and a hyphen symbol at the previous pane so let's see if you are creating another window so now this second window is the current window and the first window was the previous previously used one this is the third window and if you want to go to the first window you just have to click on the first window here you are already opened third three panes so it's very easy to switch between windows it's just like home tabs here and now if you want to list your windows uh, from using your keyboard you can press ctrl b and you have to press w here now you can have preview of uh, your windows here like uh, right now we are on second window you can press up arrow keys to go to the other window options 0 1 2 these are the pane numbers here so let's say go to first window and you just have to press enter now you are on the first window now let's go to window 0 now let's say if you want to convert a pane into a window what you can do press ctrl b and press exclamation mark and now your pane is converted into a window you can see there are four windows here now so to turn off the mouse mode what you have to do press ctrl b colon set hyphen g mouse off it will turn off your mouse so if you see here now you, you can copy paste directly but you cannot use your mouse and now let's detach the session ctrl b d let's say here you open another session tmux again control b d now you if you see here i have opened two terminals and if you want to kill all these sessions in a single go what you can do here you can use p kill command p kill hyphen f and tmux this will kill your all sessions now one thing i forget to mention here like if you are working in production environment this is very necessary to save all the session logs so let's see how to save session logs in a tmx window so let's open a terminal and 
let's say we are printing some random characters here let's say print sequence 100 and if you want to scroll up and down again you can press ctrl b and the square bracket and you can see there is a lot of text on the terminal right now to save this what we have to do press ctrl b colon capture pane hyphen capital s and hyphen press enter now press again ctrl b colon save hyphen buffer and you can give any file name here let's say file name dot txt exit let's see if our file has been created or not you can see here there is a file name dot txt already created let's see cat file name dot txt now you can see all your session logs are saved into this file so guys i hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you have any questions or suggestions please mention in the comment below if you like the video please hit like button and subscribe to my channel for more how-to videos on linux and open source thanks for watching